Hello, John here with another unboxing video. This came today. Been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, so I'll sh explain once we get in there. Oh, they've sealed it up really well. Oh, definitely. Let's see if I can make my own hole. There we go. Right, see what's in here. So this will be ah instructions on how to uh, connect it up. Right. <laughs> Here we go. One. Commodore 16. And it's a Commodore 16 Raspberry Pi case. So I'll put that down. Oops. We'll put this down here. Then we got <laughs> this is a BBC Micro Raspberry Pi case. So we'll put that down here. Put that over there. That's who's the front. We've got the last one here. One Vic Twenty Raspberry Pi case. Put that there, and then last but not least, a Commodore sixty four Raspberry Pi case. And all the Commodore ones have a power indicator, and that's why these have uh, cables sticking out of them and the Raspberry Pi goes in there in the middle so we've got the accessible holes and a, a way of getting the memory card out and they just snap together like so now the reason why I'm doing that is because I have got this is my media server so I've got all my music and films on here and videos and that's the Raspberry Pi that drives it and this one here is my file store so I got a bit fed up with them being bare and naked so I spotted these cases on eBay made by these fellas here. Retro Pi cases. And then I saw ETA Prime on YouTube evaluate uh, a case. And I thought the cases were brilliant. So I got in touch with one, uh, the guy that runs this. I think it's the guy that runs it, uh, Stephen, and asked him because on on uh, e on the his, on his channel, uh, not channel, his uh, site, they do the Vic, they do the 64, and they do the Beeb, and they do others as well. I think there's an Atari, an Amiga, and there's a few more. But I asked if they did the Commodore 16 as well, and at the time he said no, but we can do it. Give me some time and I'll get it sorted. Well, he got in touch with me three, two or three weeks ago and he said that he'd, ordered, he'd got them on the site, so straight away I bought the four. And what I'm going to do is, 
the VIC-20 and the C-16 are going to be my media server and my file store and the other two are going to be web server and that one not too sure but I've got an idea for that one but BBC is going to be the web server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them I'm going to fit them all together put them in and show them show you with the uh, the Raspberry Pi inside and the disk drive hanging off the end so I'll see you in a minute take care bye right so I've put the two Raspberry Pis in so as you can see and what I've done is I've sat the Raspberry Pi on top of the drive so it's all nicely contained a little bit of blue tack underneath it's plenty of air holes and we'll get these plugged in and then the light should start should fire up so got the cable here if it's long enough no, it's not long enough so I'll have to turn the camera around a bit so here we go so plug the uh, power supply in make sure I've got it the right way around and we should have power light There we go. Now it looks like I've got the power power light on back front. So I'll do a quick change and I'll come back to you. Right, I think I got it right this time. Should have read the instructions a bit more properly there we go power comes on and it should come on oh maybe I need to do some jiggery pokery to the pie but it did come on right let me go on the web and I'll read the instructions here we go talk to you in a minute Right, apparently you've got to modify the text file, the config file in the Raspberry Pi, so I've done that. So here we go, I'm going to power it back up again. Make sure I put the power supply in the right way around. So I've been known to do that wrong as well. And there we go. One power indicator. And that lets you know when your Raspberry Pi is on. And as you can see, the hard disk is lit up, so that means I'm now. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say I could now use it, but the uh, network card's not. Uh, the network cable's not plugged in. So I'm going to uh, do the same same configuration to the Vic, the Vic Raspberry Cover, and the Raspberry Pi for the Vic. And there we go two vintage computers disguising two Raspberry Pis that are performing two cloud functions. Right, with that I will say au revoir and I'll see you the next time. Take care, bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.